What's going on people? Welcome to United View and welcome to the preview for our Champions League qualification game under the lights. Mm. Because that's what it is. And I'm not involved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not involved. I'm, I'm not involved. I don't mean you no harm. Do you know what I mean? No violence on my side. Just do what you need to do and keep it moving. Uh -huh. That's how it is. We had to bring none other than Matisse back onto the channel. Big mm. up to you, bro. Absolutely. Been pleasure. a shocking season for you lot, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And I said, and I'm not going to lie, I think I said it after the Bournemouth game. I was like, I want, I want Chelsea to not even come back to London, yeah? On the, after, I want them to go to City, get licks, yeah? yeah? Which it weren't even licks, but, you know, lose. Yeah. Just don't even get on the, on the bus and come back down. Just stay up there. Yeah, 100%. Yeah? Come across town to Old Trafford and hold more corn and just get slapped up. That's, nice. we, That's you know how what, serious it is. You know, yeah, <laughs> it is. I, but then Liverpool kind of made it where we only needed one mm. point. Because before I was like, if we can set up playing against Chelsea, by winning the next two, yep. which was Wolves and Bournemouth at the time, yep. then I think we'll, we'll get chopped four because we've got to beat Chelsea under the lights. It's happening. Yeah. Now we only need to point out two exactly. games. So I think and we'll do it anyway. It's, it's literally done. Literally but done. No Chelsea, pressure. I mean... What, I, I was in Manchester on Friday. I took the, I took the tram from, from Etihad to, to Old Trafford just so I could feel what it would be like to lose and then go and lose elsewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just wanted to make the journey, make the what, trek. No hope. Bro, have you seen my team? Like, Nottingham I've... Forest took a point at Stamford Bridge, the worst away team in the league took a point off us. And then we lose to Manchester City's C team, the C standing for champions, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and standing for Cole Palmer, who we had to give a guard of honour, do you know what I mean? Imagine giving a guard of honour to Otega, Cole Palmer, uh, Rico Lewis, do you know what I mean? All these guys, uh, Calvin Phillips, ain't even kicked a ball. Oh, that's oh yeah, because they started, so you had yeah. to... Oh, Bro. no, that's actually peak. Because obviously I ain't watching the City team. Yeah, so I yeah, watch of it. course, of course. I just watched the highlights. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, that's peak. <laughs> it's mad. But then, yeah. but also, in the same breath, I couldn't be angry because I was like, thanks, Pep, for doing that. Because if you didn't play those players, we got slapped. So <laughs> we kind of needed that to keep it yeah, respectful. Yeah, if Arsenal didn't do that, when yeah. it gave them the league, they would have played all the man them exactly. and then you know what was incoming. Exactly, it would have been a long day. So we was all predicting five, sixes, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, bro, our, our season's done. Like, I'm st I just need the season to end. Yeah. Like, I am so... I, I'm getting happier. As we get closer uh, to the end... Because at least it's going to... One yeah. more game left. Literally, well, two, 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 two more games left. And then when 90 minutes hits on Sunday, I'm, I'm having a party, bro. <laughs> Carnival. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm parading. Worst season of your I'm life. I'm parading. <laughs> it's going to be mad. You think, you, think, you think Arsenal were going to have a parade? Or you thought you, thought you were going to see parades with, 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 with Man City? We're going to have our own parade. It's going to be a celebration, honestly. Yeah, you lot, you lot have been absolutely oh. disgusting. To the point where, look, when we're on the Monday show mm. on DR... We've, run, we've all run out of words to cuss Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, absolutely diabolical. Spent all that money. Mm. Teams down the pan. Teams too big to even fit on the coach. Teams yeah. too big to even everyone to fit in the changing room. Like, yeah. madness, in it? So yeah, it's yeah. all about next season. The thing that, for me, in this game, is I, I want to stick by it. And I know I shouldn't get... We shouldn't get greedy. You lot say, oh, flex just don't matter. But I'm like, I want to mash up Chelsea. <laughs> no, nah, do you know why? Because, firstly... I know we only need a point, mm. but I want to win both games and come third. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that'll be nice. Okay. But secondly, the thing with the Chelsea, I saw a stat. It's one of the most drawn fixtures in, re in recent time. I can't remember the time frame, but yeah. I do remember of recent memory anyway, how many draws we keep having. Yeah. Every time, like during the season, early on in the season, when you weren't before this happened to you, mm. you know, we mashed you up in the first half, should have yeah. scored, didn't. Then the game was a bit nothing. Then you get that dead penalty from McTominay. Yeah. And then we salvage a point. And yeah. I'm like, last season, same thing. I think it was two draws as well again. I think so, yeah. yeah. And one of them was even nil-nil, I think. Nil-nil, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, I'm fed up of drawing to Chelsea. I just want to mash in your worst state. Mm. Let's mash them up. Because you don't care. I remember that nil-nil Old Trafford was horrendous. Awful. Oh, it was Reese James or bust for us. Like, we could have scored in that game, but we can't finish. And that's yeah. been the case for years. We can't take our chances. So, yeah, it was a shocking game, man. Like... <laughs> We, we don't have much to offer. Do you know what I mean? In terms of, you want this game to be exciting, you better make it we exciting. We got a chance against City. Hit the post. <laughs> we did. For Gallagher hit the post. Do you know what though? But at no point... Sterling clean through. We had these chances. Did, at no point did my... Did my vo you, know, you know when they say raise volume? Raise volume. I didn't raise my volume. I'm just calm because I just know we're not going to score. Like, and even if we do score goals, we're conceding goals like yeah. we did against Nottingham Forest. But that was... Nottingham Forest and Bournemouth, they were like... They were great moments for us. Like the, it was like a, it was almost like Safety, the, the yeah, underdog. The underdog kind of finally did business. Do you nah, know what I mean? We, we beat Bournemouth. It was like raw. We actually we scored three goals. We and it was away game. as well. Yeah, it, it felt like a real relegation rhythm. It felt like yo, 
this is, I can get used to this, this winning thing. Then we was humbled quickly again and we, we ain't seen, we ain't seen since. Yeah, everyone thought like maybe Chelsea finally bought a win so they could go yeah. on a little run. No, Bro, I'm telling no, you, no, 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 no runs around here, man. Unless you're Gallagher and, you know, Lampard in the train and you know what oh, I mean? mate, <laughs> and Lampard coming in, Jesus Christ, it's just been shocking. And, that, yeah. and that's what I mean. I want to put you lot to the sword, like, properly. I don't want us to get a nil-nil. I know essentially it'll be like how Newcastle was mm. the, the other day against Leicester where... Once again, gets a bit away. It's fine. We get our point. It don't matter. Exactly. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want that. I you want like, to finish at the home, season strong. Yeah. I, I think, I think and we need momentum going into the city that's game. That's what I was gonna say. I think this is crucial for you guys because you need that momentum going into the city game in the final. They're already gonna be pumped. Like they are. They're purring. They're playing at their best. The rest they've of them already. Yeah, they got their <laughs> system figured out. People are going on. They've had their little piss up, obviously, you yeah. know, on the Saturday night. But they're back now. They're fresh and they're ready to go. And they're they're moving devious. They're like treble, treble, treble. Harlan's waking up to Champions League music and eating hearts and oh, eating man. livers and whatnot. Like, this is not a joke. They are going to war for this treble because they know if they do this treble, they're written in history. No one can call them Little City. Mm. No one can tell them we don't care about you. You know, no one... We can... still won't care about them. <laughs> we <laughs> still won't about care about that. You know what I mean? They if, still ain't got... They're still get... not a big club, but they would have won the treble. <laughs> if they get that treble... If they get that treble... <laughs> no, speak, speak, they speak, they speak, are. Speak. I'm not going to lie. If they get that speak. treble, they're speak. a big club because... That's that's a mad move. Small clubs don't win trebles. No, they don't. They Small really teams don't. don't you win can trebles. you can win something, but yeah. you can't win a treble. They they look they would cement themselves as an amazing team, which obviously we don't want to see happen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it, so all right. So from a Chelsea perspective, is there even any point in me asking you like line up wise, like what you want to see, like why what nah, just but, throw them out vibes? But like my, what my last lineup midfield was heaven help us. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the strike force was dear God. And the back line, I don't even know, do you know what I mean? Because I think we play people in the wrong position. There was pleas and something all over the shop. So, <laughs> bro, <laughs> we don't... <laughs> so you don't know what... You have no idea, because he keeps changing, is Like, ba sometimes it's Sterling Badia, up there. Badia Shill's out for four for four months, I, I believe. Reese James is out. Kante's out. Oh, Reese James, his injuries are knocking yeah, up, innit? Yeah, bro. We just, we just got injuries galore. So it's like... Whatever you can salvage to put out there, fantastic. I know who I'd like to see. I'd like to see Mudrik. I'd like to see Madueke. I'd like to see um, Enzo, of course. Mm. I like players that are going to be here next next year. So at least we can treat this. As, right now, we should be treating this as an extended preseason. Yeah. You know, Pot should be in the earpiece of Lampard. You know, talking from home if he doesn't want to see it in person, because I can understand that's pretty disturbing to see the team playing like this. So just stay at home. You don't need to come <laughs> to the ground. But at least be in the earpiece saying, "Listen, this is what this is the team. This is the team I want to see." Show me these guys. Lampard doesn't need to pick the team. Lampard's not going to be here. But mm. Pot should be almost picking the team and saying, right, I want to see this guy, this guy, this guy. Yeah. In these positions. Let me have a look Let's at... keep it to the best. It still basics. hasn't actually been announced yet, has it? No, it's not been announced. It, had, it is happening. Though. It is done. It's but done. I would like it to be announced. In it, it's own, a bit... For my own security. <laughs> you, know I mean? you never know. You never know. You imagine, never know. Imagine bro. if it went Don wrong. Carlo leaves Real Madrid. No, nah, like he, he, Don Carlos, he's an old man. He's done, he's done everything he needs to do in football. Last oh, thing he bro. needs is to come here and handle this mess. And there's no way. A project with Don Carlos. That's like starting a project with Roy. Yeah, Roy Hodgson. 100%. No, you can't do that. <laughs> it's no going to be that, man. pure shirt termism. Let the man rest. So, you don't, so, yeah, so in terms of what to expect from Chelsea, it, it, it could be anything. You don't know. It's, it's Lampard. We don't know. He's very unpredictable. Right. He's very unpredictable. Yeah, for us, I think it's, it goes without saying it's going to be pretty much the same mm. with what has been playing. Um, in terms of team news, we haven't obviously seen anyone who's um, definitely back yet. We'll have to wait for the pressers. It's actually mm. at the time of recording, but yeah. Rashford, I should imagine, hopefully, fingers crossed, should be back. He was he was training all the way up to the Bournemouth game and then pulled out near the end with just illness. Yeah. So he should be fit, though, because he should have been training all through this week. Ganacho's so, been good off the bench. Ganacho's well, been really good off the yeah. bench. Um, come on a little bit later against Bournemouth, so didn't really have the same impact, but he's best, Scored, uh, he's did, best did, at did doing that. Before, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I just I just want... You know, the atmosphere is going to be electric. It's going to be loud. We know that we can you know, do it with a point. Are they pumped for this United fans, are they? Yeah, like... Yeah, because home games, we're, we're, we're solid. Your record's nuts. Home games. You know, we're saying today, me and Owen on the show, um, we were like... It says a lot about the league that Man United could potentially finish third mm. and look at the state of our away record. Yeah. The state of it, it stinks. Yeah. But your home I mean? record. But the home record one literally. Defeat, isn't it? So if you didn't watch a game all year mm. and you just looked at the league standings after 38 games and you see Man United third after where they were, you would go, tell you what, they must have been really good. That's that's amazing for me. But when you look at how we're playing and yeah. what we're doing, um, it isn't probably where we want to be but mm. at home we are really efficient we don't yeah. you we don't, don't concede goals yeah we haven't conceded in like six or so games or something yeah, maybe, so maybe so this more this is why I don't home. have any hope because we can't score goals you guys don't concede at home and all, all it takes is one goal yeah, we just we've got injuries it. in the back line no problem no problem <laughs> one nil finished finished so oh, I'm gonna, no. I, I wanted to ask you about a couple of things I've got you actually because mm. um, Kovacic I think is going to leave yeah 
And so too. I, I said, no brainer for me. You're taking. I will happily have him. Why do you always want our injury problem? I, 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 I know everyone, everyone says this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you want cover? The Kante one, I had to, I had to hold that. You got a first aid kit or something in this in this studio? Bro, his coverage is always injured though. He's injured a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Like I tried to, I, I hoped Kova wouldn't become as injury prone as Kante, yeah. but at some point I had to admit he's just as injury prone really? as Kante. Yeah. I'm just gonna like, take. He, I'm just gonna take your advice then. You know, he's I don't getting want him worse. Like you, you don't need that because I think he's so wicked. He is. He is like still he, now. This season, Kova's not been what he should be. Yeah. But he's been brilliant in past seasons. Like he won Player of the Year on the Lampard. He stood up, stood out in big moments and big games. But the thing is with Kova is that. He's one of those players. Next to Casemiro, I think it would do do a stellar job, but he's very injury prone and he can be a bit frustrating with the final final actions. Yeah, he doesn't, he's not... You a, don't want him crossing no. the... the bottom, but, and that's yeah. the thing that we don't necessarily have to... I want my midfielder exactly like him mm. in terms of that profile. Build up play. Perfect. Build up play yeah, is yeah, wicked. Yeah. He can get about the pitch. Mm. He can get on a half turn. He can evade challenges and yeah. drive with the ball. Yeah. And then... And give then it to someone. give it to someone who yeah, else yeah. you can, you know, give it to a Bruno or yeah. give it to a Rashford very or whatever. So that's, yeah, too yeah, injury yeah. prone. Well, I changed my mind on coaches. And even you lot were saying, ah, no, 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 anyway, don't get but any he, rubbish. But don't get me wrong, he walks into your 11. Like, when Cobb is at his best, walks in. And he's still capable of that, isn't he? I literally yeah, watched I, I, him in the World he, Cup. He was I amazing. He I think he is. Yeah, we saw him in the yeah. World Cup. He's brilliant, yeah. yeah. That was this season. Once he got out of Chelsea and was playing next to Modric <laughs> and flipping Rebic and then Monday, he was doing bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? He was doing bits and they got to the semi. So, yeah, okay, just quickly. I know that you don't. This is, you don't need no players because mm. you don't. Mm. <laughs> One player you take from Man United, put in Chelsea right now. Give me that right now. Wow. One player. Wow. I say you could have you get anyone out of our squad and put them in Chelsea for next season. Who are you taking? Do you know what? Even though Casemiro has dipped a little bit towards the end of the season, if I'm talking about a player that suits yep. Enzo perfectly in terms of playing next to him, I'm taking probably Casemiro because like I'm looking at the rest of your players. I'm looking at Rashford, cool, but we have. We have a lot of wingers. We have a lot of wingers. I'm looking at Casemiro. There's no one in our team like him in terms of the profile. Mm. The, the profile. We got good centre backs. So you got good centre backs, but we got good centre backs. Goalkeeper. I'm not really feeling De Gea. Mm. So like, if I'm talking about what we lack the most, we need a six, and Casemiro is that. And I think if you pair him up next to Enzo, you you've potentially got a partnership there. I do think build up plays, build build up play wise, that partnership isn't the greatest, but I think in terms of a balance off the ball, I think it is. And then Did you say minus. Or just because you got we got Fanny Shield, we got Levi Colwell. Just, you're yeah, just, you're so for right. me, it's not necessary. Yeah, for me, it's not necessary. I think he's a great, he's a great player, but we got we got left side of centre backs galore, no problem. L- Luke Shaw over Chilwell. Nah, it's, not, it's not a needle mover for me. Nah, it's not nah. a needle mover. Yeah, right. I'm gonna take no the guy that you cheap. really don't want to let go. I saw, I saw your keep sell loan. Yeah, Casemiro. Don't ask me that question. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't ask me a question. Don't ask me a question. That's all. I want him. Rashi, you wouldn't take Rashi. Rashi, listen, Rashford would come into our attack and and definitely elevate it and would start yeah but i think i think for me i need a striker i need i need a nine yeah, we've got martial you, martial. Nah, 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 nah. Ben, how about we don't do that we don't do that when i was <laughs> mentioning about injury prone and then you try to give me some injury bro he's never fit that's my thing with martial no, no, that's you know just easy. i've seen martial play and i'm like you know what this guy's actually like you i can see why people never drop their stocks his link up play like yeah but it's not but enough. he just you don't do enough and he nah, but this year has been a madness he's never been this unveiled oh, before yeah it's really but bad. even just his stocks is for yeah him. no I, I need a nine like i've got I've, we've actually got quite a few wingers like madaweke yeah, yeah, yeah. who signed a couple of young ones as well but well, i create need... midfielder you're not feeling bruno putting up them hey, kind of yeah, numbers nah, 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 nah. why because he puts his arms up in it nah just i'm not a big bruno, well. i'm not a big bruno fan not hate but dislike dislike he's got something for you Oh, you know what? He probably does, you know. Now that we've just said that, uh, yeah. He'd <laughs> be sliding off doing that. He probably, he probably does. No, he's got something he, He's the type of player that I would expect to score against us. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. He's scoring. Yeah. Do you know what, though? Credit to Bruno, recently, his final pass has been a lot better. He's been a lot it's more been, creative. He's laid on a whole but, bunch of chances this but season. But then, do you feel like his, his GA... Not his GA, because his assist should go up with the pass, but mm. with the goals, does he have to kind of sacrifice his game goals-wise to be more creative and less mm. kind of, you know, really. shoot-on-sight type I of think, player? Because he think, was a shoot-on-sight. Yeah, he was yeah. more so that, but mm. I think uh, after Ronaldo's, like, I think he's really taken a mantle piece, man. He's mm-hmm. had a really good season. Like, his playing style is one that can frustrate. Yeah. His playing style, at one from a football purist point yeah, of view, he is, frustrating. is not going to be he's your cup of tea. As well. So that's why shit I'm like, not Which me. is why but I really like him. Team, yeah, exactly. you like the shit out He's like, it's like he's our bastard. Yeah, he's like, our bastard. That's, exactly. that's fine. Yeah, yeah. But like, <laughs> his numbers in terms of how he impacts the game on a consistent basis of yeah. laying on chances, like, there's loads of reels and comps of like, him laying in amazing passes and people just brutfoot missing all the time. Mm. Like he he def when he doesn't play, 
we're toast. I think for me, the only thing Bruno needs to do though is in the big games, mm. like the Kevin De Bruyne moments. He doesn't yeah. have those. Like no. when you're talking about big away days at big grounds against big teams, big finals, whatever, he goes missing. Mm. And that's something with Bruno that I've always kind of questioned is like, yeah, it's cool that you're doing it against most Premier League teams, but when it comes to the big days where De Bruyne's on the pitch, yeah. you've got to ride. To drag it out. But the only thing that saved him in that is that actually in every big away game this year, apart from Chelsea, yeah. We've just been shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, away at Tottenham don't count because that's not a big away game. Nah, but not anymore. Newcastle. He, he plays that pass to Rashford and look, we score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but yeah. Newcastle couldn't do nothing. Yeah. Aston Villa, I know they're not a big team, but yeah, it's but a tough play. Tough place didn't do nothing. Yeah. Arsenal didn't do nothing. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. there you go. All right, yeah. prediction. Prediction. Um, I think I'll give you guys a... I think it'll be a dead game, but I'm going to give you a 1-0 win. I think you'll probably beat us 1-0. Slight. Slight one. Do you know what? Yeah, actually... Just... I'm 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 scared that this is going to be a draw. It just could be for a no nil-nil reason. Also. Yeah, because could be it's just nil-nil. Chelsea. We always yeah. draw, but I'm going to go for the win because we're at home and it's to get in the Champions League. I'm going to go two nil. Okay, fair enough. Yes. Fair enough. All right, guys, you lot know where to find. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you lot know where to find Matisse. M A H is simple. Mm. Type that in on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. The link will be in the video description below as well. And we'll see you all again very very soon. Take care and big up to you for coming on, bro. Big Appreciate up. that. Appreciate it. Peace.